We're back. Well, I'm back. I'm just munching on last night's nasi goreng. Yeah. And we're here at Crown and it's 5 a.m. And as you know, I love waking up at 5 a.m. He's awake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a sleepy head. Anyways, we're at the ground on a Tuesday night, or a tu Wednesday morning, should I say, uh, because we're going to be doing a Channel 7 interview, Sunrise, with Sam Mack. Um, apparently, he's going to be climbing up a, a, the Optus Stadium Bridge in Perth. We're going to get changed and head down to the bridge, and uh, hopefully it's not too cold. All right, let's get it. 3.28 a.m. It's the actual morning now, 5 a.m., and uh, do we have some sleepy heads in the bed there? It's time to wake up. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, there we go. We got Mama V. Getting Need some ready. help with the, the bag situation. <laughs> All right, guys, you're doing a really good job of getting changed fast. There's your clothes, and there's you guys. Chop, chop. early freezing eight degrees and now we're gonna go dance on a bridge this line has probably got um, condensation on it it's a little bit frozen all right we're here off the stadium the Madagara bridge all right this is Chris here this is our cameraman hey how's it going yeah say what's up so were you up the top there as well? I was, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, camera, no one ever camera. gives the cameraman enough credit because he's going up the rope with the camera. <laughs> yeah, how was the climb? Oh, it was actually good. Yeah? You do a lot of shimmying and there's poles everywhere. It's, it's a little bit tricky once you get... Yeah. Up. Not a smooth descent. You know, yeah. A lot of this and this, but it's worth it. Everyone loves the eight degree weather. Seven. Oh, it's actually seven. How are you feeling? Man, here, what was your name? Joshua. Joshua, and he is from the Jonesy Boys. Him and his brother make this cool content on YouTube. So give him a follow. What's what's the page called? Yeah, guys, you will recognise the Laver family over here. We've had them on the show many times. In fact, Simon Cow selected them uh, for Australia's Got Talent. Great to see you guys. You do amazing work at Telethon as well. Uh, let's get a quick update. What's the latest with the Lavers? Oh, we're really, really busy rehearsing at the moment, um, just getting prepared for Australia's Got Talent, um, and that's pretty much filling our lives at this point in time. So, yeah, we're really excited. Well, we're pumped to have you performing for us here today. You guys ready for a live performance? Yeah. The Lavers? All right, well, let's do it. Here we go. This is Ladies The Lavers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are The Lavers. <laughs> <laughs> At the Labors, they do amazing work with Telethon, choreographed dance talent. You're going to see them on Australia's Got Talent. Simon Cowell, of course, selected them from the whole country. He selected them and he loves what they do. Oh my goodness! So good. Big round of applause. Make some noise. The Labors are finished. That was sensational. Absolutely brilliant. Now, the voice you heard at the start, I just want to get a live version of it. Can you just say your line from the start? Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Lavers. Yeah! <laughs> so good, let's see your weather. How'd you go, Demi? Um, we had no fire, then we just had too much fire, but overall it was just fire. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> fire! <laughs> Finally, the best part of the day. What part of the day? Food and breakfast. Food and breakfast? So we went to this place at the Crown called the Atrium to get a buffet breakfast. There was so much food. Mummy and Tissy had some cornflakes and me and Daddy had some eggs. The bacon was so good I had to do a little dance. Then I decided to have a little bit more toast. We jumped in the car and headed to Port Bouvard to see Uncle Stormy and Auntie Melissa. 
This place was beautiful. Mummy and Daddy said it was like being in the canals of Italy. We jumped in this cute little boat and went for a cruise. And we passed some pelicans. Ah, oh, look, there's Stormy. Zuni, can you say anything? And saw some beautiful what is it? dolphins. Dolphin. Where is it? Are we home? Oh, we're home. Alright. Oh, home in Italy. Then we headed back home and walked to the beach to catch the sunset. Then Uncle Stormy found us a cool little sea sponge. The, the red sunset was so beautiful we decided to end the day with a family walk down the beach. It's totally not scripted.